Hello everybody and welcome back to just another episode of just another Minecraft Let's Play. My name is Bigly Shrunk and when we left off I explored the nether a little bit and we did some more housekeeping. I showed off the big window. I planted more trees also in between episodes. I showed off the big window and we were getting ready to enchant things and then I died and it just it was a good time. Overall a good time. I have the enchantment room completed uh at least the enchantment levels sorry uh now we can make it to 30 levels and i'm still trying to figure out what to do exactly with this wall here it feels like i want to keep this open but at the same time i don't maybe i'll put like a glass dome around it or i'll turn it into like an observatory who knows but uh before we get really started i just wanted to say if you enjoy this type of content and pretty much all the other content i do feel free to leave a like comment and subscribe it really helps me out a ton knowing that you guys are enjoying it thus further encouraging me to create more content for you guys so <clears throat> first order of business we gotta feed our sheep i did um we do have a little bit less um because i um well i um needed um um food I needed um food and it's all in here. Awkward. But that's okay. But that is a okay. We are gonna feed you guys, then take a nap. Pow 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 pow. Look at that. I can't open up the door oh wow. I can't open up the uh doors just yet. Alright. We have some bread and such. Ooh, I forgot to also say look went on a short mining expedition in a cave and we got plenty of iron so now I can make myself a new pair of pants first off so let's first order business boom pants because right now yeah pretty embarrassing um, now we can also make that new anvil that we've been always wanting pow and pal look at that our anvil such a, an amazing an amazing piece of technology boom look at that looking good so far but first order of business right now i kind of want to figure something out to do with this oh hello oh hello there oh i broke my stuff i broke it i broke it the one thing I also want to do here is, considering that my diamond sword right now has the enchantment of smite, which is really, really good for the undead, but not good for anything else, unfortunately. Here, I'll just show you along here once we find a zombie here. Yeah, we have one right here, and it, you know, two hits with, I do believe it wouldn't matter with the sharpness sword. Like, sharpness is the best overall, but again, smite is good for the undead all right now let's get started on i have like this small idea of what i could do but at the same time i'm like oh, i don't know i don't know it's hard to figure out but we'll put that away for now we got all this amethyst however i might do something i might experiment with this uh with these amethyst blocks and this tough because i feel like this could be very very cool but i'll have to see so yeah let me get back to you guys on that Alrighty, so I was thinking in here, oh, what? This isn't the world. No, this is actually my just building test world. Yes, that is a pooping dog. Um, and here I have kind of two ideas for a potential wall design here. All right, so for the first idea I have is either the deep slate and amethyst block, which does look very cool. I love this alternating pattern. I tried going for like a sort of checker thing but that just looked kind of silly so we're just going to put it back to this and over here is the other idea that also looks pretty good for the wall design it's chiseled stone bricks with cut copper now the only thing is i would have this would take a longer this one they both look really really good but i'm thinking that this design here might be the best bet to go with because it does fit the like enchantment and like ooh, sort of thing Alrighty, we are back into the regular world. I'm just gonna grab these materials here. Um, let me see about turning this into. Let me see about turning this into the deep slate tiles. I feel like that would be very, very cool 
deep slate tiles. Boom. I'm gonna turn the whole thing into it because, like, I mean, you better have too much than uh, too little. Now, I, if I remember correctly, I went like this. So it was pow, 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 pow. Hmm, sorry. Pow, pow, pow. Okay, so this might not work entirely. And you know what? I'm thinking I might just encase this because, you know, I couldn't see a purpose. I couldn't find like a decent uh, purpose for said block. Oh, nice. So that did end up working. So we're going to go ahead and put all these in here. Alrighty, it is looking very, very good. And with half of a stack to spare, now it's time to move on to the amethyst. Alrighty, this is actually looking pretty good. Uh, now that it's alongside the entire thing, it gives it that extra flair and extra extra detail and very, very cool, uh, very, very nice uh, finish to it. Now, here's one thing that I need to get in order as well. And I think I'm going to up bring this up an entire, yeah, I'm gonna bring this up an entire level and actually mimic what's going on here. I haven't decided on what I wanted the ceiling to be, but I think I figured out what to make it. And I, oh, there's some people who are pissed. So I'm thinking about taking this, right? Making some of these stairs, turning these into stairs, and then bringing the top back, kind of copying, keeping the same theme of this um, up on the top level. So we'll take I've, I think I have enough. Yeah, I 100% have enough. Oh, and the sun's going down. Nice. Sunset looks so pretty. Like, not even kidding. The sunset does look so pretty. So we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I've lost count. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, gosh. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we need 15. Da, 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 da. Okay, well. Okay, now we turn the rest of these into slabs. And here's what we'll actually do too, is we'll keep this going. So the really cool thing to make sure that this is blended in, so I'm not gonna cover the entire thing. And I have a feeling this is gonna look cool. Um, I am just coming up with this on the spot, so bear with me here. If it doesn't look good, um, that is 100% my fault. Alrighty, this actually looks pretty, pretty good. I'm loving this enchantment room. Like, look at it. I'm gonna get rid of this torch, however. This looks really, really good. I went ahead and added a redstone lamp to add some light because we are no longer... Well, we're still broke, but we're just not as broke as we used to be, um, if that makes any sense. But check this out. This is a, such a great... This is an amazing... I'm super proud of what we've accomplished here today. Like, look at that. That is so good looking. Took a fat screenshot of that before I move on to the next project here. Which reminds me, our next project is a very dangerous one. Ah, yes. We are back in our favorite place in the entire world, the nether. And we gotta make it down to level the negative, sorry, just positive 15. And I think we all know why. Judging by the lovely bed in our inventory, we're looking. Oh gosh. Uh oh. We might have to find another way out. Alright, so I have an idea, and it's just a simple fix. I went exploring out around, right? And all the way around, there is some solid ground. So I will mine through this mountain and then start to dig down. And it's a steady, straight line, which is good. It's what we want because I am too afraid to get lost again. All right, so we made it onto the other side. Now I think if we keep going in this direction, we should make it to some solid ground, which I believe that is some solid ground there. And if we just... Ooh, but that's not... Hmm... hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. So I think uh, we're gonna continue this expedition of just going in the straight line and 
figure out what to do, what to do. All right, we're finally making our way down. I figured that if I dug deep enough, like if I dug far enough and just started digging down, we were gonna make it to the solid ground. And we are almost at 15. See, and little pockets of, little pockets of a lava like that. Yeah, nothing to worry about, especially now that I got six eight minute long fire potions. Here we are, lads. Y15. And you already know. Oh, first off, before I do anything, let me do some of that and top off my food. And before we hit our first bed. Oh. Okay, okay. Nothing so far. Nothing so far. Let's just keep going. Oh, oh, there's one, there's one. We got one. No way. We found some ancient debris on our, on like our second go, which is so good, which that is a good sign. Let me get rid of that here. Luckily I have, uh, I don't have any room, but we're gonna get uh, rid of just the stack because we don't need that stack. Oh, look at it. Isn't it wonderful? The wonderful Gemini Tay would call these uh, cinnamon rolls. And I, I would have never thought about that until I heard it on one of her videos. And I thought it was the most, one of the most funniest and like amazing things ever. Like I thought it was so funny. All right, one more bed here. Oh. Oh, and see, that's one thing we want to try to avoid, is the big, uh, the big, scary things. So yeah, we're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna plug that up, and I'm not seeing anything over here, unfortunately. Oh! Oh, the basalt. I don't like when I run into stone. Oh, is that, that was another one! I don't like running into this stone stuff because it is stronger than the netherrack, so it's not as blast, um, it's more blast resistant. Meaning, we could end up running into a problem if we run into the blackstone, which that'll like cost us a lot of space, because who knows, there could be some netherite right in there. But we have to keep looking. So now we got pow pow pow. Pow, pow, pow. Oh, I gotta mine one more block here. Just make sure I'm not walking into. I got three minutes left. Okay. All right, this is my last bed. If I don't find anything here, it's a lost cause. I only found two out of all of that. I only found the two, so cross your fingers. Uh, 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 uh. The big reveal? No, no. Oh man. All right. Well, I mean, on the bright side, on the bright side, we got some more of this blackstone stuff, which I was thinking about actually replacing the deep slate in the enchantment enchantment room because the purple just kind of meshes because the blackstone is it has like a purple purpley uh, hue to it you know it looks very purple I know it doesn't right now you're probably thinking like what the hell are you talking about but I'll show you compared to the deep slate and compared to the other stones it does have this sort of purpley haze to oh, these guys are pissed but yeah so I'll, I'll show you guys once we get back home I don't think I'll be going home very anytime soon. Uh, wait a minute. Ah! Yes! Ah! The power! I didn't bring a. F oh, I do have a flint and steel with me. I was worried because I didn't have a flint and steel, but I'm glad to be heading back home. Finally heading back. Oh, um. Well, uh, okay, this is odd. I don't remember that being there the last time. But we were able to spare 
three. Uh, we were four. Sorry, we were, we were only able to spare four of our lovely, lovely potions. Uh, we didn't get that much. I mean, oh, did I? Okay, we're gonna put this in the ores and the mining just to save save some space here. Um, we have 60, so we could start a farm in the future, perhaps? We need a lot more iron, though. We only have 50. We're going to need a lot more than that. All right, but yeah, let's go ahead and put this in our smoker. Oh, it looks so good. All right, but now, oh, let me actually go back to this deep slate here, right? So, again, compared to the regular stone, it is a black, purpley hue to it. Um... And here, compared to the deep slate, another gray block, you can tell it does have a rather purple, purpley sort of accent. But now that I'm seeing this, I do like this a lot better than this could have ever been. So I'm actually just going to leave it be and leave it, oh, leave it as is. So we're going to put this, uh, we're going to save the black stone for yet another time. Grab some more of this kibble cobblestone here. And next order of business is to sleep. We are going to sleep. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Good morning. Now, I would like to create a bedroom for our house. Because sitting here is kind of... Just kind of chilling out here isn't doing it for me, you know? It's, it, yeah, we need more. So I'm thinking about going up. So I'm gonna try to take coordinates down. So I'm gonna take these coordinates down here in the chat. We'll do, uh, actually, we'll do the coordinates for like the side right here. Actually, I feel like that'll be our best bet because I want our bedroom to go up and our window to be right there. That would be super, super cool. So let me go in about, so once I'm in the door, right, it'll be about three or four blocks. Yeah, let's do that. So we're in the door, then one, two, three, four. We'll actually go up one yet again. So it's so we have 143, 71, negative 162. Pow, pow, pow. All right. Now I'm actually going to go digging up from that area. And eventually we'll make our way down so yeah I'm gonna start building over here and then we'll see what happens from there alrighty so here we have a nice dug out hole and a nice elongated room here and I have big plans because now we have a big window we're going to have a big window to look over us and it'll look cool it'll look super super cool we're gonna change all this into a nice cobblestone here to make it look all like it belongs. We're gonna change these walls into it. And I'm thinking about having a nice staircase or something. I kinda of wanna have, we're gonna have full windows here just for the aesthetic and we need it for the walls. So instead of the glass panes, which I know is like a big no-no just using regular glass blocks, trust me, there is a method to my madness. All right, so we have a corridor here, and I did start to pretty up the place a little bit. As you can see here, I covered all the walls in cobblestone, and you're probably thinking, what the hell are these then, idiot? Uh, just wait. So <laughs> I plan to continue on the pattern again, but not exactly. So as you can see here, this is still cobblestone um, on the ceiling instead, because I don't want any of this window not to be exposed, all right? And down here in the center here, we are actually going to start, I'm gonna put a crafting table here just for, I plan, I also plan on having crafting tables in at least every room. So here's where how, here's where how, oh, 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 oh. Here's what my plan is. First off, I'm gonna get rid of this because we can't have like evidence or cobblestone sticking out. I want it to look clean and I want it to look very, very nice. But here we have pow, 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 pow. Right. Okay, we're gonna go up above the mountain or the hill. Sorry. I'm gonna plop down on the. We're gonna plop down here, and 
take care of some more of that. And here's where the boom boom will go. And here now I'm kind of stuck, truth be told, on what exactly I want to do here, right? So here we have, again, here's what we have so far, right? The window looks fine. In my opinion, the window looks perfectly fine. However, I, I want this to be poking out a little bit. So if I were to do, not that, but... If I were to do that without it make without it looking too much like a thing, you know what I mean? I need to make one more stair. Uh, that's going to bother me because then that's going to leave me with an odd number. Right? So you, now this makes it look a little too rounded off almost. You see that? I don't I'm not a big fan of that. So what I could do, perhaps, is change the corners of this, at least, to, ah, I thought I could make it in, here we go, to this, perhaps, and I would have to get rid of this block, uh, which I'm not the biggest of fan of, but I feel like we have to, to make it work here. So let me show you. So that, that, and that, right? We'll get rid of that, that, and that. I'll get rid of that, that, and that just to make pow, pow, pow. Now let's see what that looks like. Okay, see, automatically it already looks a thousand times better. And I think, I think what we can do is up, take it up even farther by adding some extra details first. I'm going to get rid of all this here uh, with some cobblestone, which sucks because now I have to have this kind part kind of poking out, which, you know, it isn't that big of a deal. I mean, I'll live with it. You know, it's not that noticeable because it is only a fourth of a block. So we'll just, you know, pow, pow. And here's how we can even take it up even farther. We have all of these trapdoors, right? And this gives it not only an additional sort of in cave, which is what I'm looking for. Um, again, it just, I can't express how much extra detail this puts into a build here. All right, so we'll do each, oh, not that much. We'll do each block here, right? Pow, 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 bang, bang, bang. I need to make a couple of more. But this is going to look so cool because it also adds an industrial sort of detail to it as well. So check this out. And voila, look at that. It is very subtle, but that subtlety makes all the difference, in my opinion. Just look at that. And like the nails and stuff, it gives it such... It gives it such an amazing, like, industrial look. I cannot wait to further decorate this room. But first, we must sleep. Alright, so why I embarrassingly left... I don't... I didn't have any... Uh, I didn't have any... Ooh, an Enderman. I didn't have any sand. So I had to go and get some, which was super embarrassing. But now I found a good use for said dark um sorry the blackstone i found a good use for the blackstone here and i need one two three four and then i need two more blocks over here we're gonna go up to this here we're gonna make pretty much we're gonna make my bed look super super fancy here so check this out and it's gonna be it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a little odd shaped Truth be told, uh, I actually need to grab two more of these, sorry, four more of these, and then some fences. Trust me, it's all going to look super, super cool in the end, um, although it is going to be weird shaped because it's going to be like, it's going to have a rather odd shape to it because, 
yeah um it would just be protruding way too far out and i know this is just a bedroom but you gotta have some space in your own bedroom man you gotta like you can't you can't not have you know your own um space in your own bedroom so let me go back up to all the way up to the i should make these connecting actually i should make the entire house connecting in a way all right, some polished blackstone wall Ooh, and i forgot one of the most important things one two three four wait a minute so i'm at three so i'm at 12. which means i need all of these sticks here, unfortunately, one, two, three, one, two, 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 one, two. Oh, I need more sticks. All right, I'm just putting these few final touches on. Now you're probably wondering what what's going on here. It's called building, and you put out the boom, 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 boom. Gotta get that. Okay, I have, I have, I still have. One more shovel use after this. I was like, I know I was getting low. But look at that. That's my bed. And you're probably wondering, why do you have such a big size bed? Well, a king sized bed for a king sized king. That's you, by the way. You're the king sized king. All right. And I also have some additional sort of things to put here, kind of to make things look interesting and uh, entertaining almost, to make the bedroom look more full. At first, first things first though, I'm gonna put this crafting table in here because every room should have a crafting table and I can't stress that enough. But let, yeah, let's get into a small decorating uh, thing that I have. All right, I ended up jumping back into an old world and, <sighs> did you hear that? That was spooky. I ended up jumping into a very, very old world where I had this sort of small design here where I'd put three up just like that. I'd have, uh, these, if I remember correctly, here, let me actually look, because I do have them in file. Um, yes, okay, okay, okay. So I, I took a photo of it, and I took a screenshot, so I'm jumping back and forth in between things here. Super, super cool, right? And then I made a lectern, pal, and I'm going to put something funny in here, something very secret. All right, wrote something very secret. We put it in the book for decoration. And we have these three uh, things here. And yes, I did just waste a whole bunch of iron just for this drawer gag, just for that drawer uh, look. We also have that there, and I think I'm gonna throw that enchanted book in there as well, just to add some extra flair. Ooh, and the one thing I forgot, the one thing that's probably the uh, second most important thing in this entire thing, if I can find it, Aha, the moss, the moss, sorry, not the moss. We take a whole bunch of this here. Pow. All right, and we take our, uh, shields, question? Oh, our shields are already right here. And we just go to town on this part. I wonder, I'm gonna see something because I don't think it affects other blocks. If I do this, right, we need, aha, that's perfect. I love how it doesn't affect Oh, that's so great, actually. Wow. Okay. Go, pal. Look at all that. Boom. Boom. I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. So, and then we got... Boom. Oh, dude, that's so freaking cool. Dude, our stuff looks so good now. Dude, our front yard looks so... Oh, and the moss spread all the way up there, too. That's amazing. All right, but now we got to go grab more bricks. And make a little flower pot. Pow, pow, pow. And, uh, uh, uh. Pow, pow, pow. I, I was going to put the music disc in there, but I don't think I'm going to anymore. Like, I was going to put it in place of the enchanted book, but I think the enchanted book looks cooler. And it adds shape instead of just having two circular or ovular things there. And, oh my gosh, that looks good. Now this is a bedroom. Now we just need one more finishing touch. And of course, that is the painting. And of course, I you already know what painting we're looking for. That one. It looks so good. And one more 
last order of business. That won't take long at all. I went ahead and added some lights and I am proud to say that this bedroom is officially completed and I am so, so excited about how it turned out and the outside too. Don't worry, I will definitely be decorating that in between episodes, making it look all pretty. But I am super, super proud of how this all turned out, really. Like, look at how cool that looks. It's our new house, our new place. Not our new house, but like, it. Ugh, I just can't get over how cool this looks. I'm gonna replace most of this with moss, actually, um, to make it look even better in the future. I'm gonna get so much moss, and it's gonna be, uh, it's just gonna be amazing and so much. But that's where I have to call it here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like again, comment, and subscribe. It really means a lot. I do also live stream on Twitch. If you ever want to watch me prep for videos, if you ever have doubts, you know, the memes going, oh, went some mining off, you know, mining off camera and just blipping into a creative mode. If you ever want to watch me prep for videos or just do some like work in between episodes, follow my Twitch. I do plenty of live streaming there before every single episode. And that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And Goodbye and be safe out there.